everyone and welcome back to my channel I want to go to the most exciting series here on my channel if I may say so <laughs> or in my opinion uh, but basically this is called Pandos eyeshadows and in this series I try to hit pan as on as many eyeshadows as possible in my collection and if you haven't seen my intro I will leave that list down below and this is a continuation of my product I did last time uh, or last year which is called was called the product pan roulette eyeshadow, edi eyeshadow edition <sighs> tongue tied <laughs> But basically this is a con continuation of that, so if you haven't seen that, I will leave that in the description box as well. But yeah, so in this video I have uh, all my palettes written down on p uh, small pieces of paper. And then I also have my single eyeshadows written down. And in the intro I picked three of my palettes. Uh, and then I pick one eyeshadow from each of those palettes and then I pick two of my single uh, eyeshadows and I'm working on those five and try to try and hit pan on those. So today is the first update and I asked you guys in my intro if you wanted me to do this every six weeks or every two months and you guys said that I should do it every six weeks instead of two months so that's why I am here today. I haven't hit pan on any of my eyeshadows yet, but I have like some nice dips and some I haven't worked on much at all. <laughs> so let's just get into it. And let's start off with the palettes because those have the least uh, progress. I will insert like close-ups and uh, photos of what the eyeshadows look like last time so that you can compare but I think the one that I have used the least uh, is the Cavalry Metal Matte Palette in the Sade, Sade <laughs> shade Synergy uh, which is this one here. I just haven't been feeling the neutrals as you will see from the looks that I will show you later. I think I have no, I have one look where I used this but I didn't get a photo of it so I won't be able to no this this shade. <laughs> uh, so I won't be able to show you what that one looked like but I just haven't been feeling the neutrals but I know I will like eventually I always go up and down between like color like I have today and neutrals so yeah not much progress on that one. The next one is the the Balm Meet Matte Nude uh, palette and I chose the shade Matte Garcia which is this brown shade right here. I have used it a few times to like darken up my outer corner when I did a neutral look which was not that often. <laughs> so yeah I have one look I think I have a photo of. I will insert it now. Uh, so yes, yeah, you can see I used it like in, or in this look I used it all over my lid and then I put the shimmery shades like on top of that. Or I used it like in the inner corner and an outer corner and sort of in the middle as well but not as much. And then I put the shimmers on the center of my lid. And in that look I used a few other uh, shades that I will get to. But yeah, I did use this a few times. You can't even see it, it's still completely flat so... <laughs> That is a bit discouraging. But then uh, the next one is the Cow Pop Dream Street palette by Kathleen Lights, uh, like their collaboration. And uh, someone told me in the comments that I uh, said the wrong name. So this one is called Shooting Star. I said Twinkle in my intro. So ignore that. This, <laughs> this is Shooting Star. Uh, and I have used it quite a bit. So I'm a bit discouraged that you can't see more of a dip in this shadow. Uh, but this uh, eyeshadow palette was completely new when I put it in this product and now you can see it has a lot more uh, like wear and tear and I have a full review of this up on my channel so if you haven't seen it I will leave it listed in the description box but yeah I'm just going to work away at this and I don't have any like looks to show just because you can't really tell that this is there <laughs> in those looks so yeah. I'm working away at that one. And then the more exciting uh, eyeshadows in this product is uh, first we have uh, Fortune Teller by Makeup Geek. And I can see it, dip. I can see it, dip. a slight dip, but I can see it. <laughs> uh, I have used this a ton and I'm so happy with all the looks I have done with this one. 
I have like the first one I did with this was that I put this all on the inner corner of my eye and then I had sort of like your brownish reddish shades in my outer corner and then I also did one where I had purple in my crease and on my outer corner and just used this on the lid which I really like. I also did another look. I think I have Synergy also in this eyeshadow look, which I forgot when I talked about Synergy. But uh, this is a look I wore for work. So I have Shooting Star in my crease and then on my lower lash. And I think I have Matt Garcia in the outer corner. And I did a liner, so where I have Fortune Teller on the inner part and then Synergy on the outer part of the wing, which I really liked. And then I have a few looks with both Limelight and uh, Fortune Teller, but I will get to those. But then I have one where I have, it's a very similar look to what I have on today, with, where I have green on my outer corner and in my crease and then I just put Fortune Teller all over the lid. So yeah, I think that were the shade or the looks that I have done with Fortune Teller alone and not with Limelight. And I really like all the looks that I came up with and one good thing is that <laughs> I went to Sephora and I was checking out the uh, Too Faced uh, chocolate gold uh, palette and I was like standing there like sort of swatching the shades and like looking at it and uh, a girl who worked at, uh, at Sephora she was like oh that's very pretty like it's the like uh, this shade is very similar to the one you have on your lid and I was like yeah and that was a uh, fortune teller and I mean she was trying to sell a palette but I think that was what sort of got me to not buy it just because why would I want another shade like the one I already have on my lid I don't know <laughs> it was a weird experience but yeah so uh, those were the looks with this shade alone and I have been so happy with those and then we have the shade Limelight, also by Makeup Geek, and this also has a slight dip in it, or it's sort of hard because this sort of develops hard pan, but it's not really hard pan because you can still get color out of it, I don't know, it's really weird. Uh, but it has a slight dip in it, like it has sort of like grooves in it. So yeah, I'm using this a ton, I really love this shade. Um, I think it's beautiful. Uh, so I will go through the looks where I have limelight. The first one uh, is one of my favorites where I will have a video of this look up on my channel soon so you will be able to see it. But here I have a purple all over my lid and into my crease like with a bit of pink and then on my inner corner I have limelight. And then I also have one where I did sort of like a purple and pink um, sort of like smoky eye and then I did a liner again so I put limelight on the inner half and then I put a blue on the outer half and then on the center I put a tiny bit of glitter and I think that was it for only limelight so let's go through the looks where I uh, wear both of fortune teller and limelight and here in the first one I also have a wing and here I have fortune teller into a blue and then on my lower lash line I have limelight and then uh, in this look I have pink in my crease and on my outer corner and then on the center of my lid I have fortune teller and on like this inner part I have limelight. And then for this look I used orange all in my crease and then uh, I have limelight on my inner corner again and uh, fortune teller on the center and like a green on my lower lash line. And then the last look is the one where I'm wearing fortune teller on the center of my lid and then I have shooting star in my crease and uh, Matt Garcia on the uh, outer and inner corner and then I have a green on my lower lash line and then I actually have limelight like right in the inner corner and onto the lower lash line and then I just put a like white highlighting shade on top of it just to make it more like bright and highlighting. <laughs> So yeah, those were all the shades that I have been working on since uh, my intro and for the first couple of weeks I wasn't too good at like concentrating on them because I had like I wanted to get out a review of the Dream Street palette and I also put a review up of the All I Say Is Magic palette but now like the last couple of weeks I have really focused on them and I feel like I can really see like some progress. I have uh, some nice dips in these two. 
but I'm sort of unhappy with the shades I picked from the palette so what I will actually do in this update is that I will pick another palette and hopefully I will get like a neutral palette so that I can pick a pop of color that I can work on in a palette as well I know it's cheating but I don't know I just want to do it I, it's okay to have six eyeshadows to work on I think so I'm just going to pull one and if I get the same as what I have I will just put that back because <laughs> okay that's funny I said that I wanted a colorful and here I have Urban Decay Electric so I'm going to pull out Urban Decay Electric and then I will be right back okay so I don't really have any dips in any of these eyeshadows but this is what the Urban Decay Electric looks like so I got my wishes <laughs> for a colorful eyeshadows, uh, eyeshadow but I don't have any dips so I would just grab one that I think I will enjoy using and that is slow burn so this is like a reddish orangey pinky shade uh, it has some gold glitter but I don't think they translate on the eyes so yeah I will also be working on uh, the shade slow burn in the Urban Decay Electric palette for my next update so that was everything for my update today thank you so much for watching give this a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next one bye